Okay, so in the previous lesson, we had finished modeling the hand. So now we're going to take a look at some important concepts about topology when you're dealing with the hand, and if you're going to be rigging it, what you need to be aware of. So go ahead and select the figure and switch to edit mode over here. And here I'm just going to A to select, A to D select everything. And for this one, we're actually not going to be using the snapping over here. Just make sure that you're back on increment over here and under meshes edges, you still have your shortcut key enabled. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and just click on a vertex over here and press the period key to home in on it. So I can just rotate around it. So go into your front view first and just zoom in and go to your face select mode. So now if you think about it, if you start bending this finger, right? What's going to happen is that this top area for the knuckles is going to start stretching. The quads are going to stretch. So we need to stop that from happening. And when you're doing the hand, you're basically going to be following the same methodology for basically any type of hand. When it comes to the knuckles, you want to establish more quads in this area over here so it bends correctly, right? Now, I'm going to do tap to go into uh, object mode just to show you something over here. I'm going to click on wire and under the modifiers tab go ahead and just bring this down one because this is what we're going to be applying over here let's go ahead and just do draw all edges now you can see that we don't really have to worry about creating more uh, quads over here or polygons on these area of the knuckles or this area of the knuckles right because they're enough there so it's going to behave correctly it's really in this area that you want to make sure that we have some sort of topology going on. Now you can see that over here, that looks like quite a bit of polygons, but as you'll see, the way we're going to do it, it will help to establish the correct topology that you need over here, okay? So go ahead and switch this off over here. I'll just leave that on and make sure that we click on this again and go ahead and click on tab over here. So go to your top view over here. So the way we can do this is quite simple. Just click on these, do E to extrude, right click to get out of it, then do W and then smooth it only one time. Then press the Alt key down and just click on this edge, do W smooth one and then two. Switch to the edge select mode, click on this edge, do Control A, click on this one, Control A, one, two. Then you're just going to simply delete this edge. And if you do a tab over here, you can see that it doesn't hurt the uh, the model for the hand right now let's go back over here and click on wire to see what it actually did right now you can see that what it does it just established this circular idea here so this knuckle area will bend correctly okay you can see the difference how what the difference is it's just giving you extra polygons over here that's basically the idea behind it Again, because we're dealing with joint systems here, we want to do this. So let's go ahead and switch this back on, click on this, and just get rid of this. So let's do the rest of the uh, knuckles over here. So we're just going to switch to the face select mode, click on these two guys over here, E to extrude, right click to get out of it, W smooth, do the Alt key down, click on this edge loop, do W smooth, one and then two, click on the edge over here. Do control A one time, two times, X, and dissolve. Same thing here. Click these guys, E to extrude, right click to get out of it. W smooth, click on this one, W smooth, one, two. Click this guy, control, control A one time, control A two times, X, and dissolve. And finally, on this guy over here, E to extrude, right click to get out of it, click on this, W smooth, one, two, click on the edge, control A, control A, click on this, X, and dissolve. Now if you do tab, you'll see that it simply makes the hand look much better over here with extra topology, okay? Now I'm going to show you something else over here. So the bottom of the fingers, if you look, if you do tab, you can see that what we've done is basically establish these landmarks. So we're going to bring these landmarks out a little bit more, make it a little more realistic. And here I'm going to show you another technique over here that you haven't seen before. So now if you remember, if I do 
Alt and just click this. Now don't do this. I'm just going to show you. We use this technique already. If you do V, right, it separates the uh, the whole edge loop over here. And we did this for the neck, the fingers when we were creating it, and the toe. So I'm going to do Control Z. Now let's go ahead and click on this vertex. Now if you do Alt V, what this does, it basically separates it but adds the faces for you. I'm just going to just move this like this. Remember, we're not using the snapping. So here you now have to start to use your own artistic license over here. So meaning that click on this, these two, X, and now dissolve. Now if you do tab, you can see that what it does, it gives you that little extra topology idea. Meaning that now when this finger bends down, if you do control one over here, you can see that how this topology is going to work, right? It'll help it bend and create that extra fold in the skin okay this is why we're doing it this way so now for this one I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do this one right over here because it has to be spaced out correctly so just do alt now you have to hover your mouse on the edge if I do it here you see that it does it the wrong way it's very picky about this uh, blender is sometimes when you even over here it does it so you have to be kind of on it alt V so just undo it if you get it wrong don't worry too much about it. Do X and dissolve. And always do tab to make sure that you're getting what you need. So you can see that I'm getting this extra fold over here. So I'm going to actually click on this and rotate it like this. And click on this blue arrow and just bring it out a little bit more over here. Okay. I'm going to do tab. And I like these little folds that are coming in. So I'm going to leave that be. Okay. You just want to be very subtle with these. So Alt V, just move it out, X and dissolve, and just do tab, and that looks pretty good. We'll be there. I'm fine with this. Now over here, what I like to do is actually click on this and do Control A12 to make the skin go in this direction. Okay. Do the same thing over here. Alt V, just move it out a little bit, X, and you're gonna dissolve this edge. Pretty straightforward. Click on this. Alt V, move it out. Now this one you might have to tinker with this one x and dissolve we'll just take a look at this first okay well actually that's fine um, click on this alt v x and dissolve and that looks fine too i'm going to do alt v over here x and dissolve now you can use this same technique to create like folds in clothes or cloth or something I just want to show you I'm not going to do this okay now if you come in here and do the same thing right next to it look like this you can get like a double line over here right meaning that you would have to now come in here and push this in a little bit and click on the red arrow push it out and you'll get like another line over here and you can just mess around with it until you get that established okay like so just want to show you that you might notice this on your own hand now that's something you don't really have to do because you can accomplish this with normal maps okay I'm gonna control Z all that I don't want it and out okay now let's do this one over here alt V X and dissolve I'm gonna do tab to make sure that looks right Alt V, yep, that's wrong. Alt V over here, X and dissolve. I'm going to make this a little more established over here. Just do S to scale this out a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to click on the this one and bring this out just a little bit more over here. Bring these in just to help to bring it out a little bit more over here these ones actually I'm just gonna bring it in sometimes you have to fiddle with this technique just a little bit to just get it right okay okay actually I'm going to go ahead and now scale this out a little bit more Just, I just want it to be subtle, okay? So just keep, you basically have to fiddle with it until you are happy with it. That's basically what's going on. 
Anyways, so let's go ahead and do Alt V over here. Same thing, X and dissolve this one. This one is going to be the same thing. We're going to have to actually push this one in. Push this one in very slightly. Push this one out and this one out over here till we can start to establish a little bit of that junction over here. Okay. And let's go ahead and do the same thing. Alt V. X and dissolve. And Alt V finally over here. X and dissolve. Okay. I'm just going to make sure now. I'm just looking at it. I'm going to do A to D select to get rid of that orange outline. And I am just want to make sure that I'm happy with what I have. Right. I'm not going to get all crazy in here with the surface anatomy because that is not what you want. You can do that with normal maps if you wanted to. You just want the basic landmark concepts here. Okay. So we're going to leave that alone. We're not going to mess with it. Now one last thing I did want to show you over here that you can do this over here too. Again, this is optional. So if you do Alt V over here, you can also get X resolve. You can get this little line over here just to help uh, you with that concept, right? So if it bends, it'll just be hit this way. Anyways, so here we've now established everything over here. I'm just, just turning it around and just looking at it and I'm just going to go ahead and click on this and get rid of the mat cap for a second just make sure that everything is the way I want it to okay actually over here I'm going to remove just a little bit of that okay that looks good and if we do this Okay, so the figure is looking good over here. So I'm going to keep this on for a second, but uh, let me just go ahead and first save this. Save what we have over here. Go ahead and do uh, save it like this. File and then save. I just want to show you something now. So now we've done the hand, right? So we can actually take a look at this real quick. Uh, click on this layer over here, go to rendered mode, and you'll see that we've now completed the hand over here. Okay. Just going to bring it in the center. Look at it from here. Do control one from the right view over here. And just look at it from the bottom. Okay. Everything looks pretty good over here. So now I'm actually going to go ahead and save it like this. Now what I want you to do is click this off, go to solid view over here. Okay, now I'm going to just show you something extra over here. So you've seen all this stuff that I went over, right? What I wanted to show you is that if you click on this, right, and if you do tab and just do A to select, A to deselect everything, you're going to see you know, something over here called mesh analysis. What is this thing over here? If you click this, this is really meant for 3D printing, right? So you can actually take this figure and 3D print this. You would, of course, have to scale them down and move the hands a little more down over here at probably 25 degrees or 30 degrees down and turn it turn this figure on its head to 3D print this. So the way this works is that you first of all actually have to get rid of the mat cap and you have to be in solid view for this. You can't be in wireframe. And if you go into object mode over here, you actually have to apply these modifiers. So again, remember if I've already saved this file, so I'm not going to save it. I'm just showing you something over here. I'm going to apply this click on this and just do apply. Now if you go into wireframe, you'll start to see this because we have this check. What it's doing is really just sh showing you what the overhangs are and you can just click on all these little things to 
uh, to look at this. Again, if you're into 3D printing, this is what it's showing you, that this is what the overhang is going to be, meaning that this is obviously going to be very difficult for it to print it. So you would have to uh, make some adjustments to get this to print, right? Like I said, move the hands down or turn it on its head. So that's what this thing is, okay? Now, the other thing that we can look at is this motion tracking. Now, this is not going to do anything if you click it or click it off. This is really meant for VFX and visual effects, meaning that you can take uh, a movie with your camera and import that movie into Blender uh, in the background over here, okay? And then you can track uh, points in the movie to establish how that 3D space is moving inside your movie. Once you've established that, you can then drop in this figure and make it part of your movie. And that's what visual effects is. So that's what this area is for. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that checking it and checking it, it's not going to uh, do anything. Okay, now uh, if you click on this over here, hidden wire, this is another feature in the shading where this matcap was is basically what it says it is, right? It's just the wires just hidden, you can't see the other side. But if you do Z, then it comes back, right? This is another way of looking at it. So I'm just gonna bring everything back the way it was over here. And we're just gonna switch over here, okay? So I will see you in the next lesson, thank you.